Good evening! Good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening! Welcome! Welcome back to Closers. I still haven't got any review copies for any of the games I want to play right now, so... Like, uh, that's fine, I'll play more Closers. Upstart X, hello, you are first. Congratulations, you win the first cookie. We give cookies to whoever is first. That's how the internet works, right? I think so. Uh, right, you are my new character. Let's play you. Level 26, like, for someone I just started playing two days ago. Feels good. Omo says no, maybe you weren't first. Omo, Omo denies your cookie. I don't know. I don't know if that's what the context is. What's the context of no? What, what is being denied here? It's, uh, ooh, Dimensional Doppelgangers has, hello, I need a bunch, oh, ends in 30 seconds. Well, a uh, little, well, um, no, I can't do that. I can't change characters and play that with a good character in the next 20 seconds. That's probably not going to happen. But I want those items. I'm going to have to do that at some point this evening. All uh, right, what have we got as rewards for today? We have got, yeah, I'll save that. I don't need things taking up my inventory. Ah, oh, tomorrow I get the washing machine. Washing machine is good. If only that was today, we could have some gacha gameplay. Everyone likes gacha. I'm not watching gachas. Uh, okay, so we... I, I'm picking up pretty much exactly where I left off on Tuesday. Which is to say, he's going to tell me to get the heck out of here, and there's a couple other mop-up of this sector bits, but then we're going to head on to the next sector. No cookie. No cookie, apparently. Uh, you install closers? Do it, play it, play it, it's good. I do that, I install things, I'm like, I'm going to play this, and then I just don't. I'm like, but, like, when you get into things, that, that, yeah, you just gotta, you just gotta get, get over that first hurdle of actually launching the dang thing. Uh, yeah, finally everything's going as planned. Well done, our future looks bright now. Yes, that's great. I'm sorry, I haven't been able to dine with you. This plan works out, let's get together, celebrate our success, eh? I know a good restaurant. Let's share a meal together and talk about our future. Now, leave this place to me and move to the next sector. Oh yes, I have to move to another place now. Then may I excuse myself, Agent Kite Kim? I hope you get better. Eh, what do you mean? I'm not sick. I asked Hyde, my secretary, to investigate you. Seems you were diagnosed with PF deprivation syndrome a while ago. What? How do you... I told him not to speak about that. I'm so curious if you'll still be patronizing after... If you'll... I'm so curious if you'll still be patron... patronizing after losing Phase Force. Let's have a meal together then, as you said. Let's have a meal and talk together about your future. Ooh. He's going to become not a good agent. I wonder if that actually does go anywhere, uh, story-wise. Or if that's just like left hanging like that. None of that comes up in any other character story arc. Two monitors. Get a, yeah, get a second monitor. Two monitors is like the best thing you can do as a computer upgrade. Two and like... I have never looked back since getting two monitors. I, weirdly, years ago, I had a monitor and I just randomly stumbled across a second-hand version of exactly the same monitor and I was like, okay, I can double up now and it was really cheap. I was like, I could not, I, I would hate to try and work with only one monitor now. Every time, I mean, I have to have one at work, but like at home, if I had only one monitor, I'd be like, it would just feel super limiting. You gotta you got have two monitors. Two monitors is the way forward. And I mean, I couldn't actually physically fit them on my desk, but I imagine the same is true of three plus monitors as well, for the folks who, like, are gr super gratuitous like that. I'm not. I have a desk that fits two monitors. It is fine. It's good. Ah, I'm so happy to see you again. Susan, how do you feel? <clears throat> yeah, I'm okay. I was having a headache, but not anymore. I see. May I order some food then? A cup bread. Well done, please. Well done? You mean a crispy one? Here you go. Thank you. I'll need a cup of tea that suits this food. Hyde, please prepare the tea. Yes, my lady. Here is your tea. Whoa, where did you suddenly pop uh, suddenly appear from? This is Hyde. He's my secretary. He always helps me. Hyde, give Susan a cup of tea, too. Yes, my lady. You are, Susan. Oh, uh, th thank you. Wow, it smells really good. Can I really drink this tea? Sure, please go ahead. I want to serve this tea to someone. She was my friend. But someone did something evil to her. I'll avenge my friend one day. Before long, as soon as the plan is completed. I have no clue what you mean by that. <laughs> I was talking to myself. Never mind. Now, if you'll excuse me, see you later, Susan. I'll introduce my friend to you then. 
Oh, adventure. Well, Vilos, who are? I saw you talking with the food cart lady. Is there something wrong? No, I just checked if her memories were properly deleted. Oh, you're so thorough. But don't worry, have I made any mistakes so far? I know, you did You did it very well. Oh, thanks for the compliment. Let's move to the next area. I'm going to brief you about your area transfer, so listen carefully. Your commander, trainer, successfully recovered the special remains. We can now, now smoothly move on to the next stage of the plan. For that reason, I want you to head to the next sector. Alright, but before I go, there's one thing I'd like to check out. My father didn't tell me the details of the plan, so I was hoping you could tell me about it. I'm sorry, but I can't. The chairman gave me a specific order. I shouldn't tell anyone about the plan. Including me? No exceptions, that's what the chairman said. No way, once the plan starts rolling, I'll tell you everything, even if you don't want to hear it. Alright, then I'll wait for that moment. Good, then please move to the next sector, Goro. As you know, it's a blocked area of New Seoul where dimensional monsters still appear. More difficult missions will be waiting for you, but I believe you can handle them well. Okay, then go to Agent Ran Sunwoo over there and ask her to take you to Goro. She already knows you're coming. Oh. Okay. I I had been kind of looking out for Ran's, frankly, pronouns in the game the entire time. I was waiting for someone to refer to Ran as either him or her, because, like, I had gotten the impression that Ran was female, but, like... I saw some some discussion somewhere that referred to Ran as he, and I was like, wait, what? Is it... Have I been mistaken here? <laughs> it's, a, it's a mildly ambiguous character, perhaps, but there you go. Uh, what am I going to spend my $55 of independence on? Um, I don't... I'm... <laughs> Are you... Factoring the YouTube cut, I... You know what? On that particular topic, I don't actually know how much we get. I was under the impression Super Chats fully get sent to the creator. But... Um... I checked, I was like, I was like, um, browsing my analytics earlier today. And part of that is like, how much money you've made on YouTube? And it's like, it said, oh, you've made... $80 in donations this month, and I was like, wait, $80? That th th those numbers don't add up. I'm, I, there was, that number was bigger than that. Huh. So, um, I don't think that, I don't think it gets fully split, but I think it's like taxes and things, and I think YouTube, I don't, I, I don't know, because it's like American companies, right? And I guess American taxes and things, but. Uh, they give you, like, no particularly useful information as to how much they take. Uh, Abstar, there was a stream last week where um, Ulmo and Tolkas donated some money. Um, predominantly in the name of dragging me up to Edinburgh this Saturday so I could, like, hang out with Tolkas and he can put video on my channel. Which, I booked the tickets for that earlier today, so that is happening now. I've got to get up stupidly early on Saturday morning to catch a friggin' nearly four hour long train journey uh, up to Edinburgh uh, when I will be hanging out with Tolkus and I have no idea what Tolkus wants to do but whatever he knows the city better than I do to be fair um, so yeah I mean ultimately that money yeah it's kind of he's kind of just covering the train fare for Edinburgh really is what that money's doing <clears throat> By the time you convert it into uh, into a great British pound sterling, uh, the money from that stream kind of covers Edinburgh. That's really about it. Maybe maybe a little bit left over, but ain't gonna be a whole lot. And YouTube, what will they spend their cut on? They will spend their money on um, undermining net neutrality. Possibly, I don't know. What what's Google doing that's evil these days? Probably probably just like ruining. Creators' channels—that's that's that's probably the more likely, yeah, scenario. Yeah, they're just they're just spending it on removing people's thumbnails. That's the latest thing they've done. Did you know they've done that? Apparently, there's a small percentage of users. I think it's two percent of users now just don't get to see thumbnails because YouTube wanted to see what happens if people don't get to see thumbnails. Why would you do that? Oh my God! Hello, Julo. Uh, I was doing a mission. Let's talk to the mission. Hmm, I've got to tell you about this for quite a while now. 
Supervisor Shear offered ordered you to drop by her as soon as you finish the promotion test. I don't know the reason, but you should do as you're told. Go now and visit Supervisor Shear. Alrighty. Yeah, it looks like you passed the promotion test. Ha, ah, congratulations. I hope you keep using your powerful gold vulture corp. This is from Susan, the owner of the food carts. When she was with me, she kept murmuring your name with this clutched in her hand. I think she wants to give it to you. Well, it doesn't matter anymore. I give this to you as a celebration gift for passing the promotion test. You probably wanted to receive it from Susan, but you know that you can't. Haha, <laughs> keep up the good work. Do it for Vulture Corp. Alright. It's a fox anklet! Um, I can't wear the full fox outfit because that will break my crazy horns outfit. Which is giving me good stats right now. Uh, Ryan wants to whisk me away to the next sector. Isn't there... A, there should be a mission... There should be a mission somewhere, I think. Maybe, maybe you don't get it in the sector. I was thinking, is there not a training mission thing to do? That might be sector two. I experienced the mystery of the world leaving some materials. Hey, wait, wait a minute. Oh, oh, you must have lost your clothes to dimensional monsters. Hide, please bring her some clothes. Please, please bring some clothes for her. No, no, I wore this on purpose. You don't have to bring me clothes. On purpose? I don't understand. Why would you want to bear so much skin? Uh, I have a reason. I'm Bittner, a researcher from the Union's research team. I'm working on inter interdimensional material conversion. My team leader gave me this outfit. He claims that if I don't wear something like this, clothes won't pay any attention to our research. So you're a technician. Talented technicians like you don't deserve such poor treatment. How would you like to quit the Union and join Vulture Corp? Are you offering me a job all of a sudden? Thanks, but no thanks. I can only study material conversion at the Union. Material conversion? I've never heard that before. What kind of technology is it? No, I'd love to explain it to you. Material conversion is a first converting a special metal in the external dimension, receiving otherworldly material in our dimension in exchange for that. It's a tutorial. Use a washing machine. It's a gacha game. There we go. There you go. There you go. Uh, you can get some amazing stuff, but the chance is pretty low because it's a gacha game. All right. Shall we? Shall we do the gacha game? The etc. gacha game. Okay, let's gacha it. Is there a wall that blocks you from continuing if you don't have good enough gear? Not that I have come across. Like in oh right oh right. I was I was trying to think in what context are you thinking there? Uh, you're thinking of like the tears in Spiral Knights. So it's like what game does that? What what sort of get what MMO would possibly gate content like that? Oh yeah no Spiral Knights did that of course they did. No no I you know what I have never come across that in any other MMO ever <laughs> frankly. That is very unique to Spiral Knights. I mean, other games have gear checks, but they're more in a fashion of if your gear isn't good enough, this boss will murder you kind of gear check. <laughs> and it's like, when your gear is good enough, you can defeat the boss and you're allowed to carry on. If you don't defeat the boss, you can't carry on. That's your that's your wall. It's done a little bit more. It's, it's, it's more of a soft wall rather than just a, we've looked at your gear, we don't think you're good enough, you don't go through. Don't do that. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I mean, honest to God, something like, something like, yeah, Jelly King or whatever. It's like, if you, if you are good enough to beat Jelly King, you should be able to move on to the next bit. I suppose in the story terms, that's kind of true. But, yeah. Uh, right. But no, you want, you wanted to give me a thing, right? Oh, you brought the materials material conversion. Uh, I'll take a look. What is this? Uh, dark, mushy, scrummy, totally disgusting. Yeah, I say bouncing around all of a sudden. Ah, don't go there. How dare you stay away from the lady. What, what are you? Where do you come from? Don't worry about him. By the way, seeing how this unidentified creature was materialized, I think material conversion is a pretty dangerous technology. It's not dangerous. This was just an accident. It's the first time it happened. So what happened next time? A very useful type of material will be, will be transferred. So please use it frequently and prevent our team from being disbanded. Don't forget that different material can be transmitted depending on the channel. Keep up the good work. I'm going to research this dark, mushy, squirmy thing. And I get a prototype fuel, which will go in my bank and get forgotten about forever. Uh, actually, you know what? Um, I was like looking at the gear afterwards. I, I think I had a good weapon, didn't I, or something? 
I upgraded this one, which is 241. I think I've got like a base power. Yeah, I think that one's like straight up better, isn't it? It's weird. They're both purples. They're both fine quality. The one I have equipped is level 22. The other one is level 20. But the, like, the level 20 one just looks better. I mean, it could be tuned a bit better, but... Like, it starts at 300, the other one starts at 241. If I were to actually power it up, it would be a bit good. Uh, to physical crit rate, physical power, back attack, I mean, it's not bad tuning. I mean, to be fair, this is a hybrid character, so I think all the stats will be useful. It's not like Harpy, who any side damage kind of type things are just utterly useless. Have I got the other things for that? So it says, it says like, Mole Doll. Do I have the Mole Doll to go with that? Spinning Ring, Breakthrough Booster. Is there a Breakthrough Booster here anywhere? I, I mean, there's a good chance I may have just dismantled, like, a bunch of these things. I don't know. I, you know what, let's, let's, try, let's try the new thing. Let me try this. Or not. How do you use these? I've never used these. I tried using it once and it didn't work and it's still not working. I... Hmm... It just says right click to use. But... If you right click on it, it doesn't do anything. <laughs> Which makes me think that it doesn't work the way it says it works. There's the upgrade station here for enhancing. It is not an enhancer, it is a... It's not a, it's not a gear booster, and it's not an enhancer. It's a fuel. So what do you do with a fuel? That is what I want to know. It just says right click to use. Give an item a random level between 0 and 10, regardless of what it currently is, right click to use it. I am right clicking. Not doing diddly squats. I may, I may Google that just because that's gonna that's gonna annoy me endlessly. Hmm. Okay, there's a lot of people complaining that they don't know what the minus one stuff is for. Someone explained that, I still didn't understand it. Nope. Nobody else has asked about it. Apparently everybody else gets this. Okay, yeah, I've got the wiki now. They call it a one-shot in Korea, apparently. Oh wait, no, 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 it's not. It's a... It's a various tribbles. Whatever that means. Just summons tribbles. That is the trouble with tribbles. If you use the fuel, you just summon tribbles. Uh, and that sets it to... I don't know, I think I think this is way out of date and probably wrong. Right click gear and select it from a drop down? I don't think so. I mean if you right click any of the gear, you just equip it. You don't get a drop down. There's right click to equip or use, alt right click to lock, unlock. Let's just use right click to use immediately. This is so bizarre. Right, I'll put it. I'll put it in the bank. Someone one day can explain that one to me. In fact, does that stack with it? There you go. I've picked up seventeen other dang things so far, and they'd be useful if I could use them. But I can't. Uh, yeah, I guess we're heading on, on to Guro. Fine, go to Hub. Guro Station. Take me there.
At first I kind of liked Goro Station, I was like, oh, this is kind of a cool setting for things, but like, by the end of the chapter it kind of does start to wear a bit thin. I guess it's the grey and drizzle, it's like, I get enough of that at home. Also, I don't know, there's just like half the station does not remotely get used. You can go down here, but like, there's no characters or anything down there. I don't know why I didn't put anything there. Let's have a look at the black market. Let me see how those swords are doing. I am dying to get one of those crazy, crazy ass uh, Ashbringer swords. Uh, still going for a cool 35 mil. Um, Alright, not yet then. Give it a miss on the sword front. Okay. How's it, how's the cleanup coming along? No, oh, welcome. Oh, this neighborhood is very gloomy. Let's finish here as fast as possible. I'm counting on you to get it done fast. I'll do my best. Oh, it's really a shame to leave this huge pl plot of land idle. I'll have to consider getting this property at a dirt cheap price and make good use of it. Please consider that later. For now, please continue with the usual task of collecting remains. I heard that the Black Lambs did a mission here a few hours ago. That means there must be a lot of dimensional monster remains around. We'll collect the remains with our robots. Please get rid of the remnants of the dimensional monsters to help with the collection process. The team you mentioned last time. It's a strange coincidence. Tell me about it. I hope they don't stick their noses in what we're doing and interfere with our plan. If that happens, I may have to ask you to take care of them. I'll be counting on you then. I don't want to, but I will. I want to forgive anyone who interrupts the plan. Haha, oh, you're so reliable. Anyway, go get your pass. You need it to enter the closed area. Go to the special unit commander over there and get a pass. Yeah, police are involved now. Uh, do you have any business here? Mm, who are you? Oh, are you a refugee in Goro? Please let me know if there are any issues. I'm not a refugee. I'm here to receive a pa an access pass from you. I thought you were aware of the issue. Pass? You must be the closest I was told about in the secret letter. One of the officers of the special unit sent me the secret letter. I'm just going to show it to you without checking to see what your identity is. Here, have a look at this secret letter. I, 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 you're, you're allowed to see this, right? I was told to give you a pass and to fully support you. Even if it was an order from an officer, I can't follow an order without going through the official procedure. I can only give a pass to the Union's official closers. I'm sorry, but I can't help you with that. So you won't give me the pass, right? I'm just following the regulations. You're so earnest for a special unit officer. But being too earnest can work against you. Wait, do you really think you're giving me advice? I'm speechless. I'll say it once again, I won't be helping you, so please go away. I can't give you a pass, no matter what you say. If you really want a pass, go to your superior and tell them to follow the procedures. I cannot give you a pass before then. That's the rule. Especially you and I will follow the rules. If you understand that, blah 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 blah. <coughs> oh, excuse me. How's the cleanup how's the cleanup coming along? I've been watching the situation. Our special unit commander is pretty hard headed. He's committed to the principles. I personally have a high opinion of him, but we can't let him get in our way. I have to think about how to persuade him. Uh -huh, you don't have to. There's a much better way. Looks like we'll have to teach him how th things work in this world. It's a good thing I did some investigation beforehand. Let's go talk to Inspector Che over there. Let's go teach him his place. We'll have him learn how powerless and pathetic he is. Please just state your business. Oh, you're back again? It's the same, no matter how many times you come. I can't give you a pass and I won't be helping you. So please go back. You are Inspector Che, right? Nice to meet you. I'm Shia Hong, a supervisor from Vulture Corp. Vulture Corp? You're from Vulture Corp? I knew you look sus sus suspicious. Aha, uh -huh, it seems like our company's reputation is still isn't very good. I don't care about our reputation. What matters is, is that we will be expanding our business to the medical industry as well. Was it six years ago? There was an accident in a lab owned by the Union where otherworldly dust was leaked. The lab was in an isolated area, so there weren't that many victims. But there were still some casualties. Inspector Che, how is your sister? Is she, is she still unable to get out of bed because of her weak immune system? How? How do you know that? Do you conduct a secret investigation? Aha, uh -huh. I'm very interested in the lives of others. Wouldn't there be people who are contaminated by otherworldly dust must go through an operation that removes the buildup? And the hemodialyzer used for that surgery is currently only being manufactured by Vulture Corp. You understand what I'm trying to say, alright? You dropped out of school and volunteered to join the special unit to earn money for your sister's surgery. Why you throw away your sister just for some rules? Ugh, you dirty monsters. Oh, so you'll cooperate. Thank you so much. I'm looking forward to working with you, Inspector J. Uh, here's the pass. Are you done? Uh, thank you for cooperating. I hope you continue to cooperate, Inspector J. I don't want to hear another word from you. Don't make me mad. Uh, you're still resisting? 
You don't even know your place. Anyway, we've got the pass. Now our operatives will be able to go inside the closed area. First, go around the Guru circuit to stabilize the fa phase inflection rate and recon the suppressing train area. I heard that the dimensional mountain monsters appeared in the train last time. I'm sure there remains there too. Go and recon train 426. Initializing communication. Attention. The Union has created a new access control system for the special ops sectors. The Union's new system, huh? Interesting. I better learn everything about it for Vulture Corps reference. But now you should focus on more special ops areas and the it's more, more on the special ops sectors than the system itself. And this is from my HQ, which is to support the operations carried out in the special ops sector and cooperate with the testing of the access control system. Follow those instructions. You can report your results to whoever you think is appropriate. The chairman, the supervisor, or me. Go to Dr. Jung, who's a member of the Union, and ask for more details. Sure, I'll go learn about the Union's new system. Can I take a few Vulture, Vulture Corp technicians with me? That'd be very helpful to them. Think about running your company later. But now, you should focus on your mission. Enough chat chat. Go talk to Jung. Oh, yeah, she is horrible. <laughs> like, like she's only just getting started, by the way. If you, if you are not up to speed with the story, she's nasty. Uh, I have skill cubes. Welcome. How may I help you? Dr. Jung, please tell me about the special ops sectors. They're part of the Union's new system, right? New systems must be fully tested for their stability. I can help you with that. You have a point? Sure. Well, let me tell you about the special ops sectors. It looks like you need a scientist perspective. Now, let me explain the special ops sectors to you. The special ops sect sectors are slightly different from normal operation sectors. New system has been developed to help you close us, access special ops sectors. Oh, this is tutorial, isn't it? Over the menu, click special ops. You can see the things. You can see them anytime from anywhere. Prevent system overload. You can do them so many times a day. Uh, why don't we try one? Or maybe not, because they're really tough for a level 26 character. So yeah, special ops is down here, this one. Dimensional doppelgangers is only available every other hour for some reason. And all of these are fairly challenging. I could maybe do mop-up operation, actually. 25 to 34. I could possibly manage that, maybe. How's my gear looking? I should probably, like, before I charge headlong into literally anything, I should probably make sure actually all my gear actually is good. Which means a bit of checking things out. So I've got, yeah, that's level 10, level 11, 12, 13, 15. I got some very bad gear. Probably stand to swap some of those out. So the panda, no, the raccoon, whatever. Um, 200 health, that's literally about it. I could probably put, like, that's just going to be better. Let me scan everything. Got the blue modules, gives us physical power, psi power. Because I've still got a crappy starting module as well. I could really stand to put a good module in. It's 43 hybrid. It's better, but not like incredible. Fighter's necklace is a level 20 trinket. It is. definitely better than that. Although, these, do these have a set bonus? These do have a set bonus on them. I am breaking my set if I start swapping these out. I don't know. I hate that. It's like, it's like the gear's definitely better, but sets are useful to have. I actually don't have that many accessories. Alright, let's get this stuff dusted, I guess. And... I can have a go at a spec ops, I guess, since they want me to do it. Don't need that, 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 don't need that. That is actually quite good. Some of these are alright. So that's 131, that is like, I think the best physical one I've got. Oh, that's, that's actually quite a good hybrid, isn't it? Huh. Dang it. I mean, actually, suddenly I'm realizing I kind of want some of these. 
Okay, so that's versus 43. That is an upgrade. Yep. Swap that out. That's okay. That's good. Psy power 119 versus 110. Hmm. That comes with plus 2% Psy power and a bunch of... Actually, like, that, that's got some good buffs on it. Statistically, they're not, like, literally the best gear I have, but they got some good buffs on. Hmm. Alright, we'll just go with whatever. We'll pick up better things soon, anyway. That one cannot be salvaged. Oh, is that my... St oh, it's my starter gear. I'll save that one sword, because I think that is actually good. <clears throat> And I can sell that last one to you. You'll buy it, won't you? For one coin. Yeah, your your exam should probably come first. But yeah, go go wild once exam's done. Right, I want to go down here. Dimensional doppelgangers, no mop up operation. Let me mop some things up. Oh no, I <laughs> I haven't I haven't. Even finished my op missions. There we go. I forgot I said I forgot I sent my character on an exploration this morning. That's a thing I need to wrap up. Huh. Hello, oh, this is stuff I absolutely should have done. I'm like away from camera. I didn't realize I got like half an hour of busy work to faff around with before the stream. Huh. Uh, explorations. Who was on this mission? That one. Get reward. kind of actually don't need that on this character. It's like I've got that on the wrong character now. Whoopsie! Never mind. Now I've got some high level materials and coins and things that need to be on my main. Crap. <laughs> okay. Mop up operation. Start. Oh, wait, I leveled up to 27? I was 26 a moment ago. Did I get ex enough XP to level up from something? When did that happen? Right. So I've got new abilities, which I don't think I even demonstrated last time. So, hey! Uh, and also, there's some UI over there on the right that's... And, um, wait, what? What? This is weird. I've never seen a level that looks like this. Huh. I guess it... Okay. Have I not done more pop operation? Well, there's a mini-map up top, and then there's like... I don't know what KP is meant to indicate, but okay. Oh, I see. Oh, it's a, oh I see. It's like a wave defense thing, right? Oh, uh, we... right. We do entire defense. <laughs> Except I'm the tower. I did not grasp this at all. Still don't know what the stuff on the side is, but sure. Yeah, these guys are tough, huh? Mission failed. Whoops! Huh. Yeah, they hit me hard, and I'm not good at clearing out massive packs in a very short time against things that are... They're, they're a little bit too high level and geared for me, I think. Whoops. I've never seen that mission before. Huh. Should probably have done that on my main at some stage. Let's just do... Let's just do some story. Story's good. Story is how we make progress. Story is how we get levels up and gears and things and get better. Okay. So, I got the four new abilities.
I've still got this crazy ability to just go into super mode for like no no apparently obvious reason. So yeah, I can do a big AoE that buffs me. That is the special. I got what was this one? Don't know what that one was. That's just a big old AoE, that's fine, I like that. That's actually very similar to what I've got on um, LTB for Harpy as well, actually. And then left trigger X is just a weird dashy around you thing, and you get like two charges of it, three charges. I guess sort of makes up for the fact that she doesn't have any other kind of mobility. Wait, no, she totally does have mobility. I just never use it. Okay, so she got a lot more mobility for some reason. I don't know. I kind of don't entirely, I guess, get all of her, all of her tier two abilities and stuff yet. So, oh, okay, that's kind of fun. You basically pick the enemy up and throw it at other enemies, I guess. Whoops! I just used all my items I didn't mean to. I just wanted to do that. Those consumables weren't important, right? What did I even use? Ah, strength drink. Cover it. I would never use those anyway. They would just sit there wasting space. M most of the consumables in this game I just don't use. I should just sell them or get rid of them. So, true, the same thing is true of every game. Every RPG of any sort ever. I can't use this potion. What if I need it later? What if there's a bigger baddie around the corner that I need to save my potions for? Yes, all 200 of them. Initializing communication. Seems like you returned. There are still many dimension mo dimensional monsters left. I need you to move out once again. Don't let yourself get too relaxed. You'll be moving out soon. Hey, you got a good ring. Cool. Anyway, I was observing, observing the situation from uh, the cuckoo. I didn't think she would threaten the special unit like that. Uh, it was quite distressing. It was, for the, it was for the plan, but I felt uncomfortable. It's not, the o it's not only ethically problematic. The supervisor's method is too risky. We may be able to get some help from the special unit, but now they won't trust us. In the long term, it's very dangerous. I don't know how today's incident will affect us in the future. Anyway, the one in charge over there is Supervisor Shia. Follow her orders and continue to assist in collecting the remains. Go to train 426 and de defeat the dimensional monsters. On a higher difficulty! I really don't know what the criteria is for, like, going into exceed mode. Like, if you just rack up a big combo, which she seems to do it anyway, but, like, yeah, you don't seem to need to maintain the combo necessarily. Because I broke the combo there just before I did that then, but then eventually you go, woo! Crazy! I need to have a look at my skills at some point and see specifically if there's something I can figure out that procs that. What am I doing? That's the wrong ability. I didn't mean to use that ability. Dang it. Let's do that or that.
Uh, I'm trying to figure out the abilities, and I'm like, eh, they don't... The, the, the first set of abilities make sense, they're all just like, yep, these are these are cool things. Like, everything else is like, I don't get these. Um, what am I doing? Let me go super mode, that'll do it. Uh, let me grab you, and... Okay, that's fine. And I could do this. I don't think that does a lot of damage, but it does give you a good buff so that you can, like, lay into them with other abilities. Whoop, whoop. You done here? Level 28! Woohoo! I should spend some skill points. And. Like, study my skill book. A little better than I have done so far. I think it's the, they, they teach you, like, the broad strokes. They're like, yes, this is how you activate abilities. But, like, there is a lot of subtlety in the abilities that they just don't ever really get into. So, I mean... Oh, is that the one, then? No, Viola gets 100% airstrike stat bonuses for her ground attacks. But all her moves are not affected by attack speed. Huh, interesting. I don't know what the significance of that necessarily is, but okay. This is like seed. I don't, I don't know what is triggering this, because it's like, I'm not, like... It procs sometimes when I'm not using it specifically. I don't think. I don't know what I've got. I was I was thinking there might be like a some sort of passive thing that's like, yes, when she racks up twenty hit combos, she automatically goes into exceed or something. But I'm not seeing anything of the sort. We can power this up. And get some more things. Reduces the cooldown of exceed by ten seconds. Nice! Okay, that's cool. I like that. That's cool. Uh, what else does that do? If special move Noblesse Storm, which is... Oh, her basic one. Okay, so if you activate that move before your other special move, damage increases by 50% and it is always a critical? Woo! That's a bit good. That one gets an extra thing. Okay. Wait, but that one's... Transposer. Okay, so that's... That's a thing I didn't use very well. Okay. That's another thing I, like, really grasped. Yeah, so I have to charge, hold the button down, charge that up into a thing, and then kill everything in four meters. And I can use an extra hit within 0.2 seconds of using the skill to give it an extra 50% range. Alright. Charge forward, grab it. What does that give me? Oh, that's the extra hit. Level 3 exceed art. Can we upgrade that? Yeah, we can. Skill is recharged up to three times. Every two times the skill is used, the cooldown of exceed charges resets. Okay, so you go oh right, so you can stack three charges of that instead of two. And you, if you use it twice, it lets you use this again. And then using that reduces the cooldown of exceed. So Pop Exceed, use Charge to reduce the cooldown, dash around a bit with Exceed Art to reset Charge, and then lay into them at until Exceed resets. I think is roughly the cycle they're kind of going for with that. Uh, we should power that up, obviously. There it is the core of the character, we should probably get that powered up. This could always be more powerful. That's level 10, that's pretty good.
An extra 280% power is probably not something to sniff out. Do I want some passives? I'd sort of, I'd, I'd kind of ignored basic attacks on certainly Harpy, but actually I'm relying quite heavily on basic attacks with Violet. Might be worth actually taking those points here. Especially with a lot of skills that, that do say, it's like, yes, there's benefits from the basic attack power-ups, so the implication there is I should definitely take the basic attack power-ups. Basic attack base Improved basic attacks inflict greater damage if you have higher basic attack training and higher exceed levels. Neat. Alright. Cool. We just got better. And... I have two more points to spend. Let's make my empowered state a little bit better. Wow, I've been staring at that so long my controller has turned itself off. Yo, have you got a pet for me? Is it a new pet? You got a new pet. Yep. I know how they grow. They grow. But since they start at level 30, it's an almost pointless mechanic. Woo, we got a robot. What am I currently using? I guess I should equip the robot. Oh, I'm not using any pets at the minute because my other one's currently on an away mission. <laughs> right, fair enough. I always forget that. I say when I'm doing explorations, I obviously unequips all your pets because you're using them for that. You got to remember to equip them every time. It should give you a prompt, like if you try to go into a mission without a pet, it should be like, "Hey, you don't have a pet. Do you want to take one with you?" If you try to go into a level without a weapon, it tells you about that. But pets, no. I guess the weapon's kind of essential, but still. <clears throat> oh, customer, welcome. Oh, excuse me. The special unit officers and refugees who came to my store told me the new clothes arrived in Guru. Are you one of the new clothes? Well, you could say that. Call me Violet. And who may you be? Oh, hi, I am. I'm, I'm, I'm Sully Han, and I work as a part time at the convenience store. I sell goods to the special unit closers, officers and closers, who come here on a regular basis. I heard there was a new closer, so I just came to say hello. Part-timer? What's that? A uh, part-timer is a person who works less hours than full-time workers. So that means you're a sales clerk at the convenience store. It's too dangerous to work here. Why don't you go home now? Uh, but I have to earn money to buy some game software. Game software? What is that? Does it mean that the game is soft? Uh, well, it's a program required for playing a computer game. See, you must be very smart. You know so many words that I don't know. Oh, my, oh yeah. My control has gone again, which implies that my battery has actually genuinely died. Uh, uno momento, por favor. I have some that I charged up for just this very occasion. The batteries that came with the controller lasted a really, really long time. I bought some rechargeable ones so that it's more of a faff, but they should last a really, 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 really long time. Hypothetically. But yeah, the one thing I really hate about the uh, X-Bone controller is that it doesn't have a plug and play kit that works with PC. What the heck is up with that? I mean, it's the, it, I, I can plug it in via micro USB, but then it has to be permanently plugged in. It doesn't have a battery pack. And you can buy crappy knockoff Chinese battery packs, but they're really bulky, clunky, and ugly and stick out the back of the controller a mile when there's nothing that sits elegantly flush with it. And what I would really like is actually one that sits inside the battery cover, because guess what? I bought a special edition controller, and I would like it to continue to look like a special edition controller, not half of a special edition controller and half of a Chinese battery pack. <laughs> Dang it, Microsoft. Give me a battery pack. Why, why, why would you not? Ugh. It's annoying. 
A bit smart, knowing about game software. If you worked here for a long time, you must have a lot of information about the surroundings. And you know things that I don't know. It'd be very, very helpful to have you here. Alright, please stay here. We'll protect you. Okay, thanks for your permission. Uh, thanks for letting me stay here. So I prefer this is a token of my gratitude. What are these? Some snacks and drinks. You're always fighting for us. I brought them as a way of thanking you. Hmm, I've heard about convenience store food. I've been wanting to try it. Thanks, Sully Han. I'll enjoy the food. Will this be enough to pay for it? Uh, what was the, what's with that bundle of money? This is okay. It's on the house. It's okay to accept it. No, thanks. Please enjoy your food and keep up the good work. Woo! I got things that I need to be equipping, don't I? Okay, so that is a level 23 necklace, 544 side defense. It is better than that one, which I upgraded recently. What else did I pick up? Let's get these checked out. Ding, ding, ding. It's level 20 core, base power 294. It's almost as good as that, actually. So level 20 hybrid 83 is probably better than that. Oh, that was powered up as well, actually. So that one's yeah, that one's genuinely better, I think. Six eighty six defense ring. Better than that. That's garbage. That can replace five thirty six. There's not much in it. I think it wants to replace that. To be fair, I know I only just replaced that, but. I feel a set coming on the novice operative. They're gonna they're gonna give us a bunch of novice operative bits that'll fill up this and make a nice new set. Vision here in your orders. Initializing communication. I was ob observing the situation through the cuckoo. You encountered a civilian student, and you got some snacks and drinks too. Yes, I did. These chips are much more delicious than I expected. What an exotic flavor! It's quite a new and interesting experience. As you may already know, disposal unit members are not supposed to come into contact with civilians. Not unless it's a mission. If you tell a civilian our secrets, a supervisor will erase that civilian's, civilian's memory. Always keep that in mind. Don't worry. I'd, the, I'd be the last person to leak the secrets of Vulture Corp. I'll do my best to complete the plan, at all costs. I hope that's not an empty promise. And one more thing, the operatives of the disposal unit are on a special diet to keep their bodies in shape. You're not allowed to eat without permission, so stop munching on those chips. Supposers don't have the freedom to eat what they want? No. Operatives are under the control of their commander in all aspects. I'll consider better treatment for the disposal unit when this, this operation is over. Better treatment sounds good, but complete your mission first. Go find Supervisor Shia right away. I, and I asked her not to thresh, threaten the special unit commander like last time. If she does that again, report to me. And that's it. Over and out. Oh, welcome, Violet. It looks like you were talking to a student earlier. What did you talk about? Do you want to know if I leaked a secret too? Don't worry, it was just small talk. He gave me some snacks and drinks, but the commander told me not to eat them. Ah, oh, you may not have known it, but every movement of the disposal unit is controlled by the higher-ups. They used to be criminals, you know. But trying to control you? The trainer is so fearless. Will you retaliate against him after this operation is over? Never. I'm not that narrow-minded. You don't have to worry either. You can just treat me as an operative of the, of, operative of the disposal unit. Ah, huh, then will you give it a try? It's a dimensional pressure generating choker. You should be wearing this if you want to be on an equal footing with them. You mean the choker that causes pain by pressing the neck with dimensional pressure? Do you want to torment me with that, Supervisor? <laughs> That's not really what I intended. If you feel uncomfortable, I apologize. I just wanted to say this. You keep requesting me to treat you like the other operatives. But you're the chairman's daughter, after all. Well, let's move on to the next operation. I'll give you a briefing. I did wonder about that, actually. That is interesting that she's not, like, literally beholden at the press of a button to do other people's bidding in quite the same way. Literally everyone else, they're like, Oh, you're disobeying me? Here, get tortured. Bzzzt. She's, like, not. <laughs> You've sent the collection robots to the train. Now go and defeat the dimensional monsters in the next sector. Then we can send more robots. The next place where you must get rid of the remnants is Guru Station. Go out and get rid of those remnants. We're already at Guru Station. Oh, you mean Guru District? That's a little bit different.
Right, so use this, and then what I can do is this, and then this, and then that resets that. And then I can dash some more, and then I can dash some more, and then I can do that again. And this keeps whittling the cooldown down of my, of my major moves, right? Whoop, whoop. I wonder if you have to use those two in quick succession, or if it just generally keeps track of how many you've used. If it does that, you could like just save one up for whenever you like did that, and then did that, and then did that, and then wants to do that again. And then wants to go super soon. <coughs> That's an interesting combo. Big bad! Quick, kill it! Use my other Super Saiyan. And then, um, then that becomes even more powerful. That's brilliant. Oh no. That'll do it. <laughs> That'll do it. That teacup just filled up by itself. Nothing flowed out of the teapot. They cut corners on the animation. Oh, Sully. I was thinking it was she had to turn that into. Okay. You can tell the career quite free. Excuse me. I'm sorry to bother you. I have something to tell you. If it won't take long. Please hit me out. Hey, I told you I was getting more of those. You're here to take care of Dimension Monsters, right? They must have felt threatened by you. They started moving to the mall where the refugees are. The refugees are terrified. They tell me when they came to my store. If you can, Maybe defeat the dimensional monsters a bit slower? Refugees of Goro. My father once told me about them. Lots of refugees are spending their lives hiding in the area. I should have considered their situation. I'll be careful next time. Oh, well, thank you. But you're not a refugee. Why are you speaking for them? Well, I just don't feel so good when I see others in trouble. You're so kind. Kind? No, not really. I have to go, go now to carry out a mission. As soon as I come back, I'll tell the supervisor to slow down the operation. All right, thank you. And keep up the good work fighting. Medium mode. You know what I think I actually kind of probably dislike the most about this chapter is the it almost entirely does feel like a lot of padding. There is a, there is a, doesn't, I don't think there's a lot actually interesting happens of note in this chapter. It kind of starts to set up uh, Sheer as being a bad guy, no doubt. But beyond that, eh, the main narrative conceit going on here, really. Feels like you're doing a lot of the same missions over and over again for like no purposes. Like, oh, I gotta go kill monsters. All right, now she is being mean. Now let's go kill some monsters. She is being mean. Let's go get kill some monsters. Why are we killing monsters? Because she is mean. I wonder if uh, you upgrade that skill again, the dashy skill, if you get another charge on that. Because then that would let you like chain a whole bunch of them together. 
That would be pretty interesting. Okay. So let me do this. And then. Did, did, wait, wait, did that not do? Did that not do? Why did it not do the ground slammy thing? I don't know what happens. Fine. Level 29. Don't know if that gets us anything exciting. Probably not. Story-wise, I think when you're high enough level, you could probably just skip ahead to chapter 3 anyway. I think I... Whoa! Oh, whoops. Um, I, didn't, I didn't grab the in-game window. I moved the entire game window. What I wanted to do is that. I just dragged, like... The entire game window. Okay, I won't. I won't spoil it. She. She is not mean. <laughs> she's. She's lovely after all. <laughs> what a twist! She was actually lovely. <laughs> I think you've already seen that she's mean. The rest of this chapter is literally just. Yep, she's going to continue being kind of, kind of mean. Uh, that gets better. Let's make that better. Even in semi-exceed mode, enhanced attacks can be used once each. I don't know what that means. If the basic attack combo is used until the end, there is a 50% chance Dash and dash, dash jump combos have a 40% chance to turn into semi exceed mode. I. Okay. I'd love to say, is there a guide to this character on the internet? But it's like, it's only been in the world two days. I don't imagine there is a lot detailed going on. I, ge I genuinely need someone to explain this character to me. And the intricacies and the nuances, I think. Uh, passives. Uh, what else do we want? I can't get any more basic attack. We could just go for... Critical down. Critical chance? Critical chance is good. Can't really argue with critical chance too much. Let's take an extra 1.5% chance to crit, sure. Oh, you're back. Now most of the dimensional monsters in Guru Station have been taken care of. Now I can send the robots to collect the remains. Good job. Thank you. By the way, Supervisor, refugees in Guru seem to be in trouble because of our operation. Can you slow it down? Is it an order? No, it's just a suggestion. Then I'll refuse it. We have no time to consider the refugees. This is actually a good chance. Once those troublesome refugees are gone, our plan will go even smoother. May I understand that as my father's will? Yes, it's the Chairman's will. You're not going to oppose him, are you? Of course not, I understand. I'll move as he wants. We don't need to worry about what happens to the refugees. We don't have the time. We must complete the mission as fast as possible. So don't think about anything else, just continue doing what you've been doing. Then I'll give you your next mission. Hmm, it's Trainer. How dare he tell a supervisor what to do? He's just the commander of the disposal unit. Well, fine, I'll put aside my personal feelings. Let's go where the cuckoo is. Hello, Supervisor Shear. What is it, Commander? We're very busy because of the operation. I heard the refugees of Guru are being affected because you're completing the operation too fast. Is that true? It's true. So what about it? We don't need to care about what the refugees say. If we anger the refugees, it might affect our operations negatively in the future. How about leaving the dimensional monsters on the ground for later and taking care of the monsters on the rooftop first? After all, we have to search that area as well. Why aren't you thinking of the refugees too much? I think it's a waste of time to consider those things. It won't hurt to be careful, don't worry. I'll take responsibility. Alright, then we'll stop the disposal of the dim dimensional monsters and the search on the ground. Violet, come find me later. I'll brief you about the next operation. Oh, she's gone without saying goodbye. She must really hate me. I agree with what you said. You made the proper judgement. I didn't do it for the compliment. Of course not. I'm sorry. I only said it so the operation is more effective. I don't care what the supervisor thinks of me. 
Now carry out your mission as the supervisor tells you. Over and out. Now here are the new starters from. Now here are the new starters from Volchko. You're here. I honestly don't think we. I honestly don't think we need to worry about the refugees. But since the commander of the disposal unit says so, I respect his operation. At least this one time. Now let's stop taking care of dimensional monsters on the ground. Let's defeat the dimensional monsters on the rooftop. All right. Let me debrief you on your next mission. Focus. Debrief you on your next mission. Don't you debrief after something has happened? I would rather defeat the dimensional monsters on the ground, but it can't be helped. Go to the rooftop ruins and defeat the remnants of the dimensional monsters. And one more thing. I heard that Kalbak Tux appeared in that area. Kalbak Tux? What an unusual name. Who is he? He was a researcher of the Union, but he was possessed by the dimensional monsters and became their pawn. He's committed various terrorist acts and even created something that is like a dimensional summoner. Well, he was arrested by the Black Lambs in the end. Dimensional Summoner? You mean the device you mentioned in Gangnam? He must be a great engineer. Yes, he's just the type of man I'd want to scout. It looks like he created various devices here in Goro as well, including Kalbak's bag, which is the Dimensional Summoner. The special unit looked all around Goro to find his lab after they arrested him, but they still haven't found it. Ultra Corp has arrested, ordered us to find out where that lab is, and to retrieve any of Kalbak's files or devices. We're also supposed to continue collecting the remains. The place you'll be working in is where Kalbak was last seen. Kalbak's secret lab might be around there, or you might find something that might be a clue. So if you find anything during the operation, bring it to me right away. That's it for the briefing. Go to the rooftop and start to recon. This area is, I think, a bit bigger than the first area. Oh yeah, I totally need to play a Black Lambs character. I'm, I'm, I'm on to essentially my third playthrough of, I guess, closes chapter one because so i guess the first four parts of the story are just chapter one of the game so they still they consider it to be episodic in that fashion and yeah i like i've only i've only done it with the black lambs characters but the black lambs characters are cooler <laughs> harpy i played because harpy was brand new when i started playing the game and, I was, and it was, you know they had the campaign on to like play the new character i was like okay cool uh, when I played Tina, it was just because, like, Tina's cool. I'm like, I like Tina. Okay. And then Violet is again, it's like, oh, new character. Wait, do I not? Oh, I go oh, up here. Right. And this again, they're like, yep, you should play the new character because it's new. I mean, I created a Yuri character and I played it to level 11. Big whoop. <laughs> Just to say, I played it about two minutes longer than the tutorial took. The Lancer Healer. Oh, uh, Mistletane? I'm not sure I'm entirely down with you calling them the trap character, but I know what you mean. I believe the character design is intended to be just a, a young boy, frankly. Slam dunk! Also, what is this? I have a, I have a dashy thing. I did that before and I don't know what... I don't know what that enables that actually. <laughs> it must be when I use the left trigger A allows me to dash. Transcend. Dash jump and dash jump attack ranges for it. Increase dash jump and dash jump attack. I don't think that's quite the same thing, is it? That's talking about different types of attack. It doesn't actually say you get more dashes that let you dash around the place. But it says also says you get souped up mobility. So yeah, maybe it is that one. Well, I, oh, it's it's here. I can try it. Yep. Yeah. Not convinced I like that mobility, but. 
That is that. Fair enough. Wait, who do we turn this one into? Okay. Please just state your business. Looks like you're searching around Guru. Supervisor Shear asked me to give you a message. I'll tell you what the supervisor said, so listen well. Supervisor Shear asked if you found out anything about Kalbag. Special units also looked around Guru trying to find out anything about that man. We haven't found any clues. It's one thing. One of my men found a suspicious diary on the rooftop of a high-rise building. I tried to take it, but they failed because dimensional monsters attacked them. Instead, it seemed like those dimensional monsters were trying to protect the diary. I think there might be some clue about Kalbag in that diary. I told Shia about this, and she told me to relay the message to you. So once you move out to the area, get rid of the dimensional monsters and retrieve that diary. Alright, I understand. Thanks for letting me know. How can you be so nonchalant? Oh, how can you follow a woman's commands without batting an eye? Because that's the only way to achieve my goal. I have a plan that I must achieve. For that, I'll do anything. Even if those actions are inhumane? Yes, of course. So I have nothing more to say to you. Do your best. Move out to the rooftop ruins and retrieve the diary. Oh, you're actually gonna go play. Alright, see you later. Let me know which character you go with. Obviously, yeah, there's like, I guess, bonus rewards for playing Violet right now, so... Well, it's not an awful choice. Oh yeah, I don't have a double jump. <laughs> I'm like, why can't I get over this wall? Because I'm not happy. <laughs> Whoa, oh, you where did you come from? Because you have to go over that first building, I always, like, that second building always trips me up because I always feel like I have to go over the second building. Dash twice, slam again! And now everything's on cooldown. Whoops! Alright, I can still do this. And then follow it up with this! And then hit you with that. And also get kicked by my. Get kicked my, by my dude. How do I do that? That. Like this. There we go. Alvax Diary! Woo! Maybe, just maybe, if you're an evil genius, don't keep a diary and leave your diary on the rooftop. Just a thought. Just an idea. Google Docs, keep it digital. No one needs to know about your diary. So, you got the suspicious diary? Keep it here, let me have a look. Let's see. My masters have predicted a catastrophe. They said the source of the catastrophe is humans. Humans are bringing the catastrophe. Oh, the cataclysm is coming. It's the epitome of foolishness. I am the only one who has awakened. I cannot trust anyone. I must be the one to do it. I must herd the sheep. The black lambs, perhaps. A lot of, a lot of sheepy reference. <laughs> but I can stop the catastrophe. Mankind can survive. I don't care what happens to me. I must spread the gospel to the sheep of this desolate land. And I will let them make my casket. Inside the casket, the human cal calback ducks shall die. 
and a third being will rise. That casket will be the refuge, refuge permitted to me. No one shall get near it. A curse shall be cast upon the one who opens the casket. <laughs> Dear diary, today I met a boy. He's so cute. <laughs> He's gone nuts. I didn't write if I, I didn't write stuff like this even when I was in junior high. Anyway, these are definitely Kalbach's memoirs, and the casket he's talking about could be the lab we're looking for. In other words, it means the refugees might have co cooperated in preparing his lab. We need to ask the refugees for information. We'll have to interrogate them. It looks like we'll have to get information about Kalbach's lab from the refugees. According to a rumor, the Vulture Corp salesperson located here is pretty close to the refugees. Let's try to get the refugees to cooperate with us through him. Go find Sean Kim, salesperson and person in charge of Goro, and tell him I'm looking for him. That would be this guy. Now, ah, VIP's here. <laughs> I'm very honored to meet you. I heard a rumor the chairman's daughter became a disposer. I don't think the rumor was true. Very surprising. You must know a lot about me. But you don't have to give me any special treatment. Now I'm working as an operative of the disposal unit. Yeah, so you mean you're not here just for sightseeing? Of course not, I'm here for business. I see, I'm guessing you'll want to talk business then. What exactly brings you here? I brought you a message from Supervisor Shia. She wants to talk to you. Ah, oh, I see, and I shall go right away. Please go to Supervisor Shia, I'll be right there. She thinks she's gonna be nice to him. <laughs> so, you delivered the message to Sean Kim. Oh, there he is. Now, hello, I'm Sean Kim. Nice to meet you. I'm the supervisor of the disposal unit, Shia Hong. We don't have time, so I'll get right to the points. Go get me some information from the refugees. Find out where Kalbach's lab is. Since you're on good terms with the refugees, I believe you'll be able to get the information from them easily. Haha, <laughs> of course I can find out easily. But I have one condition. Please sign this contract. What's this? You want to prioritize the safety of refugees in future operations, and you want us to pay them this amount? There's no way I would sign a contract like this. If you don't do this much, the refugees won't cooperate. And I won't cooperate either. I must say, as a former closer, I don't like you guys in the disposal unit. I'd rather interfere than cooperate with you. I'll put everything aside and cooperate under these conditions. So, dear customer, please sign this contract. Did you forget you're an employee of Vulture Corp? I can have you dismissed with a call. <laughs> of course you can. Go ahead if you want to. My life's already a failure, so another failure won't do much. If I disappear, you won't be able to negotiate with the refugees. You realize that? Are you threatening me? Threatening? No, it's just a proposal. You must pay for what you want. That's the basics of a trade. I'll leave the contract here if you want to do business with me. Come find me after you sign this contract. <laughs> Mere employee dares threaten a supervisor. How plucky. To be honest, I like people like him. By the way, was he really a closer before? I didn't sense his force. I looked at his files and it looked like he lost his face force because of PF deprivation syndrome. <gasps> it's the same thing that what's his face from chapter one had. And the union threw him away since he lost that power. He went around and ended up in uh he went around and ended up in Vulture Corp. He doesn't appreciate the generosity of the company and yet dares to be so arrogant. I see. How does he still has a sense of justice as a closer? So what will you do? Respect the former closer's sense of justice? Of course not, I'll never sign this contract. If he's going to be like that, I have an idea too. He must think he has nothing else to lose, but I'll show him. Let's go find Sean Kim. Either way, after all, he might want to harm me once he gets mad. Oh, welcome. Disposer and supervisor here. So, do you change your mind? Ah, before that, Sean, I sent collection robots to where the dimensional monsters are by mistake. As a consequence, the Dimensional Monsters started chasing the collection robots. But I made another mistake, and sent the robots to the mall, where the refugees are. What? That means the Dimensional Monsters are attacking the refugees! If the refugees are sacrificed, there won't be any information for you. And you're still doing this? Yes, if I can't get, if I can't get the information from the refugees, things will be very unfortunate. But it's just that, it'll take some time, but if we continue looking for it, eventually we'll find, find Kalbach's lab. Besides, those refugees might run away to the lab anyway. Then we'll find the lab even faster. You're really making me angry. Oh, you're the one who angered me first. So what should we do? I could send the disposal unit to take care of the dimensional monsters. I just need to give out the order. But there's one condition. Rip up this contract with your own hands and cooperate with us fully. You think threatening me like this will work? Of course I do. Since you're just an honorable and former... Since you are a just, honorable and former closer, right? 
You don't want the refugees to just die like that, right? Give me the contract. I'll rip it apart like you want. I ripped up the contract, just like you said, and I promise I'll cooperate fully. Please go save the refugees. Haha, <laughs> you finally softened up. Let's continue to work together like this. Enough. Just in the disposal unit already. I shall do so. Now, Violet, it's your turn. Go to the NK Plaza and get rid of the dimensional monsters that are attacking the refugees. It's a mission to rescue the refugees who are in danger. Sounds great, right? Move out the way. Move out right away, even. Well, oh, please do wait up, Operative. Recently asked one of their refugees, who's known for his craftsmanship, to make a unique bracelet. During the attack, one of the dimensional monsters stole it. If you're available, can you retrieve the bracelet for me? I'll compensate you reasonably, of course. <laughs> And this has all the smell of a tutorial mission. Hey lady, wait a minute. I haven't seen you wearing any costumes. Let me tell you about costumes. It wouldn't be a waste of time. You mean clothes, right? What do you mean? What do you mean you haven't seen me wearing costumes? I've never been outside without clothes on. Hi, did you give me clothes that are invisible to others without telling me? No, my lady, I'm innocent. Such clothes do not exist. Even if they did, I'd only permit you to wear them for me. What did you say? I can't let this pass. Oh, I haven't even, I haven't even, I just launched into Ran without giving her a voice. What's Ran's voice? I've been doing a lot of the same voices, to be fair, for a lot of these characters. I'm not really, like, gone full voice actor here. Like, when I, when I started doing this, I never, like, planned to go full voice actor. Now I'm like, uh, kind of, sort of semi-committed here? I don't know, what have I got? I can't, I can't even remember what, like, I have for people. <laughs> I'm just getting my, I'm getting my, I'm getting my files up. Alright, she seems like she should have a, I don't know, American twang, we'll go with that. I guess that's kind of what I just gave to that guy, but whatever. Well, X, these costumes I'm talking about aren't regular clothes, they're special. If they aren't, you should have said so earlier. Then tell me about these special clothes. And Hyde, you stand in that corner, it's your punishment. Scary lady, I better explain them to you before you punish me too. I'll get right on it. You see this riot jacket I'm wearing? This is a costume. They're not just clothes, they're equipment that can help you on your missions. As for the details, go ask Dr. Jung. When you go, ask her if my spare costume has been upgraded yet. Please? Sean is a great character, yeah. Oh yeah, it's like, it's like it's, um, installing it is like all MMOs. Like you never, you never just install it on them in on uh, through Steam. It's always got its own launcher that does it. There, I'm sure there must be a reason for that. I mean, I, I guess it allows them to sort of railroad you into all of their promotions and stuff, because the launcher has all the promotions and updates and things, so when you launch that, it's like, Would you like to visit our shop and buy things? I don't know. Uh, I need a new costume. Mm, what is it? I'd like you to tell me more about costumes. Agent Ran referred me to, me, to you. And she wants to know if her costume has been upgraded yet. Oh, she does have pronouns. There we go. Apparently she was referred to a few times. Um, alright, I completely forgot about that. There's an urgent technical support request. Let me tell you about costumes and upgrades. That is the costume that I want! Alright, costume blah blah blah, costumes can be upgraded. They give you it in the costume, but like, you can't wear it. It's like, if it was up to me, I would just make off with that. But, uh, because it doesn't have like a specific equipment slot, you can't do anything with it. It just says costume. If you look at anything else, it says certain so 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 quality like three star one star whatever costume and then which equipment slot it is and it's they all have a thing weapon hair hat whatever that is just costume it doesn't have a slot it's a costume but it doesn't belong in a specific slot so you can't wear it i think even that says like full body if you equip it I just don't want to finish the mission just keep rand's jacket because rand's jacket's rad Try putting on the jacket slot. No, it doesn't. I, I mean, I, I tried this uh, with Harpy, believe me. It doesn't... It, you cannot wear it. 
It is just for the tutorial. It's, it's literally just here for that. That's the only reason they give you it. It's just there. Uh, this is how you learn how to do this. That's all it is. But, like, I want that. I want that costume. It's, it's weird, because actually there's quite a lot of... This, okay, not quite a lot. There's a few NPCs that they let you buy the costumes of, but, like, of all the NPCs, like, Rans is uh, cool. I want, I, want, I want the biker jacket. Well done, you got the hang of it. Costumes been upgraded in the same way. Uh, I'll give this to Rand myself. Here, take some face fibers. They're useful. Uh, to that end, actually, wait, what time are we on? We're on blah, 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 blah. Right. I might switch characters now, actually, because I would like, I would actually quite like to get my hands on these. As we've just seen, as we've just seen in the tutorial, um, yeah, that's, the, these are what you use to upgrade costumes, and they're really quite hard to come by, except for very specific missions, like today, uh, when the game's like, yes, now you can get some of these. <laughs> So, I actually would quite like to lay my mitts on some of those. I'm going to switch over to Harpy. With her weird face mask thing going on. Alright, okay, uh, I presumably need to go finish a mission, I guess. I will I will presumably have sent me on a mission as well. Get the tangs. That leveled up. Cool. I didn't get the bonus rewards because I'm not that high level. Things that was no bonus reward either. Never mind. Thank. Hello. Take those. And yeah, back to the hub. There's the garden to do as well, but eh, garden schmard, and I'll get back to the garden later. Right, yes, I... Oh, no! It gets me different ones. I get, Oh, I guess it gives me... It gi I guess it gives me all the face fibers. I thought it was going to give me only the top tier one. It's like, that tunes three-star costumes, but, like, I actually need a bunch of these to turn two-star costumes into three-star costumes. Which, if I want the three-star pirate things, is a thing I need. Because, like, all the two-star stuff was relatively affordable through the auction house but if I want them to be like completely crazy badass I need to farm a ton of phase fibers like genuinely way too many to be honest if I go to where is where is what's a face costume upgrade lady oh also uh, if you're into this sector there's this thing which gives you like a four hour kind of nice buff that's worth grabbing I am buffed. Where, if anywhere, would I find gear upgrade lady? Is she around here? Yeah, Dr. Jen. Okay, so upgrade costume. Hypothetically, one of those. So to upgrade that costs 150 greater phase fibers. The cost deck in terms of money is actually not that much, but... Ooh, interesting. I hadn't seen that. Okay. So you don't necessarily need 150. If you do it with 84, there is a 75% chance of it working. I don't know what happens if it doesn't work. If it gets, I hope it doesn't like get destroyed or something if it doesn't work. Oh, interesting. So you need 150 for it to be guaranteed. Okay, 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 okay. Let's see how it is. Very good. 
Right, well, better better go grab some more of those then, hadn't I? I wish there was a way to down craft, like, to split the splendid phase fibers into greater ones. Because you can craft, I think you can turn the smaller ones into the greater ones. It's, it is a bit heat system. It is a, yeah, it's kind of, it's, yeah. Actually, yeah, that, that is very heat system, actually. The difference is that you don't need to do it ten times for every item that you acquire. But on the flip side, the one time that you do need to do it for every two-star bit of gear that you pick up, um, yeah, it's quite an expensive one time. Slam! Not dead. Hey there. Not big. That didn't hit anywhere near as many things as I wanted that to. Ooh, you look nasty. I should probably take you out, shouldn't I? These uh, dimensional doppelganger missions seem to vary in difficulty quite wildly. Some days it's like relatively easy. Like today, this is not giving me a hard time. And other days they're just brutal and they'll just give you... It's more the final boss, honestly. The final boss, they just like throw three things at you at once that just like deal massive damage and completely and utterly stunlock you. So that you may never move again. Yeah, like, like these, these guys. See, they've got their own bloody specials. They're not hitting me quite as insanely hard as I imagined they might, but... We stand to drop some specials on them like that, yeah. Okay, got it. There'll be another three later as well. Rest assured. They will be nasty. Damn. Oh, there's more of them over here. Okay, let me gather you up. Do that. That went the wrong way. I fired that the wrong way. <laughs> I'm a fool! Oh, hi. You guys look big and nasty and like just a pile of bosses. Kind of is because it is just a pile of bosses. Right. The final boss actually really only activates when you break the dimension stone in the middle there. Get my health, get my health back there. So actually, I really, ideally, I want to clear those guys out before I break this thing. That's a boss. That's a boss now. Oh my god. Let's just do this. There we go. You guys get trapped in that. Um. Then this. Okay, I got one of them. Oh crap, I'm out of mana. There was a lot of greater phase vipers though, I need to kill them. Oh god, they that's that's basically oh my god, that was basically Violet's move. 
There we go. Yeah, they weren't too bad, but they do, like, get basically... They are basically just exactly... They're doppelgangers, they're just closers. You're going to closers who have all closer abilities. And guess what? You know how I can grab all the monsters and stun lock them into submission? Yeah, they get to do that to you as well, too. But there was a bunch of phase fibers, and that is good. That is what I came for. <clears throat> I got a strange metal condenser, which is far too high level for me, which sounds great. What is that? It's level 75. Boy, would I like to equip that. Actually, no, it's a hybrid. It's, nah, it's not really for me, is it? Eh, yeah, okay. Fair enough. Right, uh... Yeah, you only get to do those once per day as well, so I can't do that anymore. I'll do some of the others. We could have, we could actually try and do that mop-up operation, but whether I actually succeeded... Yeah, it's... I'm in a very high bracket for like 63 to 83, and I'm only 65, so... I think, I think those enemies would be pretty challenging in most of these. Yeah. Not a big lover of Spec Ops. Probably should do, do it a lot more. The rewards are, rewards are a lot better than standard missions, but, you know, tough. Tough. Very tough. Okay. Well, that's, uh, that's that done. That's taken care of. Let me hop back onto Violet. That's what, that's what we came to do. That's what the title of the uh, video is, so I should be playing Violet, right? Not that I'm beholden to any titles, but, you know. Right, we were at a new mission. I do believe. NK Plaza. Saving some refugees. That was, oh, that's the ability I never use. Whoops. Probably stand to actually use that properly. Let's actually, let's actually do that against these guys. So I go, Ooh, ghosty, and then, that was not powerful. That was not the most powerful ability. I guess it probably needs upgrading some. Not like that. some more. There's going to be a more elegant way to do it. I, uh, the way I'm doing it feels very forced. I think it's something you kind of will just learn with time and experience. I mean, Harpy, by this point, I can chain together a bunch of cool stuff. As you kind of just saw, I can just gather everybody up, dash through them, do a bunch of damage. There's a jump kick kind of thing that you can do, which then you can refresh the cooldown on that and buff the damage on it if you use another ability before using it again within the next five seconds. So then I can then combo that into like the ground slam, which is a massive AoE. And yeah, I've got a few good combos with Harpy that I, I can do that now. Oh, hi there. Slam! Boom! Get dunked on! <laughs> Woohoo! One shot. One shot the boss. We did the thing! We did the mission. Oh, you're off soon? Yeah, I'm probably not going to be like around too much later. I started streaming late today. I'm going to level with you. I was playing Pokemon Go. <laughs> I, was, I was getting set up for the stream, and then someone was like, Hey, there's two raids going on nearby. 
starting at like half eight. Do you want to do them? And I was like, all right, fine. All right, I'll go do two raids. I can probably like... Well, I was hoping I could squeeze them in faster than I could do, honestly. It took longer than I expected. And it's because everyone faffs around and, hats and hangs around and chats and stuff. And it's... <laughs> stupid community. Why is everyone going to be friends? Why can't we just do the game and get out of there? <laughs> no, because the game, that, that's what makes the game great. Pokemon Go is a wonderful, wonderful title. I, it's For my money, it is one of the few genuinely, actually good mobile titles. Uh, I mean, your mileage may vary depending on where you live. If you live in the sticks, you're going to have a bad time. I'll be honest, if you're anywhere civilized, there will probably be a fairly cohesive local community that you can get involved with. I don't live in... I mean, I live... I live near Bradford. Bradford's got a decent-sized community. Um, Leeds is within easy reach, and they, there's loads of players in Leeds. It's a big city. Any big city will have a huge player base. But my small suburban region that I live in, uh, that has its own community going on, which is, there's just like 10 to 20 of us or so that sort of play on the regular and a, like a larger group sort of who play less frequently that meet up for the big events. Like there, once a month there is a big thing that Pokemon Go does. There's, they're like, they'll release a brand new thing that's not in the game. It's like, Here's Pikachu that knows Surf or something, as an example, and they'll release that for the day. And everyone meets up in the local park and goes around, hangs around, chats, has a good time, catches a lot of Pikachus, and everybody from the region gathers together, and it's pretty cool. But then, yeah, like I say, the rest of the month is usually sort of the same. You see the same faces, but you meet the community. It's Look, I made a lot of local friends that, in the area. It's kind of cool in that regard. Yeah, you brought back the bracelet. Thank you so much for your help. Actually, this bracelet is meant for you. It's for me? This is unexpected. <laughs> this may be too cheap for ladies like you. But I got it for you, so please. All right there, Sean. Hmm? Well, well, it's you, trainer. <laughs> what brings you your cuckoo here? Let me dismantle that bracelet. I need to confirm what's inside. And why would you do that? The answer is quite obvious. I can't trust you. <laughs> you must have found me quite suspicious. How will you dismantle it? Are you going to use your cuckoo to do it? You don't have to worry about that. I already have a plan. I can't just give you a discount. So, Trainer, how are you going to dismantle the bracelets? <laughs> Your cuckoo cannot possibly dismantle it. Right now, the only person who's got the capability to dismantle the bracelet is me. But I don't suppose you'd ask me that, since you find me suspicious. You answered my question. I have other ways to dismantle that bracelet. But bring me that bracelet immediately. <laughs> okay, give it your best shot. You brought Sean's bracelet. Sean might have installed something in the bracelets. So I'll use your power to dismantle it. And attention, I'll brief you on how we'll dismantle the bracelet. Let's start our operation to dismantle bracelets. You keep saying that a lot. Tell me how it, just, just tell me. <laughs> Take the bracelet to the sector. When you engage a dimensional monster, the shock will damage the bracelet to a certain degree. But beware, too much shock will entirely destroy the bracelets. If that happens, whatever, whatever inside will be destroyed beyond recognition. Do you really think something's in this? I don't know. Maybe I'm wearing too much. But it's better to be safe than sorry. Sean wouldn't give you a bracelet unless he's got a good reason. So head out to the sector now and clear the mission while taking as few hits as you can. That's like the first interesting mission they give you. <laughs> it's like, go out and do it while taking less than 50 hits. It's kind of novel. Uh, what are you here to buy? Oh, I heard about that. Uh, so you saved the refugees who are in danger? Thank you so much. What a closer. Thank you for saving the refugees. The refugees are also grateful to you. Don't thank us. We never saved the refugees. Eh, what do you mean? You killed the dimensional monster and saved the refugees. We only killed the dimensional monster for our plan. If things change and the refugees become an obstacle to our plan, we'll change our course of action at any time. Plan? We, what plan are you talking about? It's better that you don't know, for your own sake. If you get too curious, you'll vanish one day without a trace. Well, I wouldn't want that. I still have so many games to play. I hear you, Sully. I hear that. Gotta finish that Steam library before we get murdered by the state, right? <laughs> anyway, I still want to thank you. 
Whatever the reason, it's true that you saved the refugees from dimensional monsters. Thanks for saving the refugees. Perhaps you'll regret thanking me. I'll deal with it later if it comes to that. You certainly are an upright person. Alright, if you insist, I'll gladly accept your gratitude. I don't know when our relationship will end, but let's be friends until then, Sully Han. Okay, let's try to get along. Initializing communication. I was observing the situation. Supervisor Shia threatened that salesperson from Vulture Corp, and she put the refugees in danger in the process. Then she lied to them to gain their favor. They ended up, they ended up telling Supervisor Shia the location of the secret lab. The results alone show that it was successful, but her methods are too much. Supervisor Shia is a dangerous woman. Seems like it's time to report this to the higher-ups. I'll be informing the higher-ups about Supervisor Shia. Maybe you're reporting about this too. You go on ahead and follow her orders. For now, we found out where Kalbach's secret lab is. It's deep inside the mall. But there's still many dimensional monsters blocking the way, as if they're trying to protect the lab. And the refugees said that, said that the door to the lab must not be opened, otherwise it will release some kind of catastrophe. But Kal that Kalbach might have set up a trap to protect the lab. Don't let your guard down and defeat those dimensional monsters to reclaim the lab. Defeat the monsters in NK Plaza. Over and out. Uh, was there another one? I feel like there was another mission somewhere. You know what? I never actually, <laughs> I never fin I never actually did the mission in Gangnam where I had to talk to Ran f for her to bring me here. I never uh, quite actually wrapped that sector up fully. Oops. It's literally just a conversation about the bike, I'm sure. But you know, so it would be interesting to know. Um. Yeah, YouTube doesn't like your words, Julo. Let's let that one through. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. everyone, everyone always has like some interesting relationship with Ran and the bike. So, kind of interesting to see what Violet does and says. Although she's always interested in like commoner stuff. Slumming it. She wants to live like common people. She wants to see what common people see. She wants to sleep with common people. Probably not me, though. No, oh, that looks dangerous. Let me not go in towards that. Oh, hello, shadowy, mysterious person. This is the gospel for the reckless souls. This appearance may be false, but the gospel from here on shall not be filled with lies. It doesn't seem human. Creating an illusion with phase force? That's quite impressive. I don't know who you are, but there is a coffin for me here. If you continue trying to dig out my coffin, an unavoidable disaster will fall upon this land. If you're afraid of such disaster, do not disturb my domain any further. Your illusions or threats won't stop us from carrying out our plan. If you continue to stand in my way, I will cut you down. Everything by the master's will. Mwahaha. <laughs> Anyone who ignores my gospel shall be redu reduced to ash and dust. Wait, there's two, like, baddies that are called ash and dust, and I've literally only just, like, made that connection. Although whether he makes that reference frequently or not, I don't know. And I guess he says that long in the game before you're ever introduced to anyone called Ash or Dust. Unless you're like... like uh, they, do pay, they do pop up in like the um, dimensional doppelgangers and stuff. I think. Uh, ah, what am I doing? That, that's a thing. That's a thing I can do. Yeah, they, they show up from time to time. I'm not, I'm, I, you know, I actually haven't met them in part of the story. I've just seen them in, like, lots of side bits. But the fact that he referred to Ash and Dust, and I've repeatedly fought in various circumstances and guys, this character's called Ash and Dust, means they must have some freaking connection. Do this, and then this. Ooh, that did not do as much damage to him as I expected. 
There we go. Let me get both Super Saiyan modes on. There we go. I could have done all three, actually. Could have had Enhance, Exceed, and... What's that one called? Transcend. I can Enhance, I can Exceed, and I can Transcend all at once. Just to go kind of crazy. I wonder whether, like, the optimal strategy is to stack everything together, or if you should, like, spread them out so that you're just generally consistently buffed. Yurovsky now. Uh, yeah, I'm... I might wrap that up here as well, honestly. I'm uncomfortably sweaty. It is a very warm, humid, gross evening, and I'm just... I just feel really nasty right now, and I kind of just want to be like, I want to take these headphones off and peel myself off this leather chair <laughs> and go get something to drink. Um, yeah, that might be a good place to call it. Uh, alrighty, well, thank you for joining me. That's been a interesting little diversion for the evening. Uh, I might have something new to play next week. Sun um, Sunday, what am I doing Sunday? Um, I don't know what I'm doing Sunday, actually. I haven't even planned Sunday. Either way, I picked up five new games in the Steam sale. I don't know if I'm going to play all of them, but maybe. I've got Curse of Monkey Island because I've never played Mon Curse of Monkey Island. Um, I got Jalopy, not because I was planning on streaming it, but it might actually make a decent stream game. Jalopy could be good. I picked up Final Fantasy XIII 2 because I enjoyed Final Fantasy XIII, but that is not a stream thing. And I picked up two other weird ones. One, We Know the Devil, was recommended as a, a visual novel thing by a game dev I follow, so that might be a thing I could do. I don't know how long it is. Uh, and A Magical High School Girl is a wonderful title for a game. Apparently it's a game where you, like, type things in and it converts whatever you type in into spells to cast at enemies, which sounds super novel and interesting, so I'm almost certainly going to play that. So... One of those things on Sunday, potentially, probably, likely, uh, unless I get sent Mother Gunship before then, or the new Slime Rancher update drops, one of those two. If either of those happens, it will be one of those things. But otherwise, probably looking at... I'll probably go with Magical High School Girl, because it just sounds interesting. But there we go. That, that, that's, that's my new acquisitions. Uh, I'm going to wrap that up there now. Thank you once again, thank you for joining me been a good evening. It's a little bit warm, a bit warm, but otherwise good. Okay, I'll see you later. Good night.